Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks when starting out inside Stinky Sasquatch because it can be difficult and yeah. Before I start this video, I just want to mention that only 4% of you guys have subscribed, so consider subscribing, it's absolutely free and uh, yeah. When starting out, it's best to finish the treasure map storyline because it is very fun and it also gets it out of the way and it's just like a good way to explore and have fun and also get the ranger outfit. I will leave a link on how to do all of it in the description. Usually after you're done, you might want to take a break from the storyline. So if you go near the sign near that says the town and go down, you should see this path. You should be able to talk to a duck that's down here. I already did Bruh. it so it doesn't show. But he will charge you around a hundred bucks and you'll be able to clear a path to your house. The good thing about doing that is you'll be able to unlock the workshop as well as always exit and enter your house freely without having to go all the way out of the park through the campground sign. You'll also get things delivered through your house, such as the shopping Vanguard and the furniture store. Now that you've cleared a path to your house, you can do many new things that you might like. You can also gain enough money to get a pickup truck so you can go get lumber to upgrade your house. Lumber can be found at the sawmill, which is on the path to the ski mountain also known as the highway. You can buy different amounts of boards and add it to your truck. You can then drop off all of your lumber at your workshop and to add to your big lumber pile. If you're struggling on how to get money for lumber and the pickup truck and stuff, you can watch one of my guides that called the one day combo on how to get money very fast. I will leave again a link in description on how to do that money making method and yeah. With your lumber, you can talk to this construction duck near the pond, and you can build things like a trash can, Bruh. not not really that. You can get a small house upgrade, a large house upgrade, and uh, yeah, you can get house upgrades, which is really cool. You will need a little bit of coins for the house upgrade, and yeah. Now that you have a large or a medium house upgrade, you can go and get some furniture to fill up your house, because it may look very empty, and uh, yeah, you might want to fill it up. So head towards the town, and as soon as you get off the highway, your first turn should be at the very top, and you should see the furniture store. So if you have enough coins, you can buy all of the furniture inside the shop, or just a few. Just remember not to get extended warranty because it's a complete ripoff. Now the goal of Sneaky Sasquatch is to have fun and explore, so you can do some more stuff, such as... You can find the dog. Um, I do have a tutorial for that, it'll also be inside the description. You can go to the camera club and level up your camera. I do not have a tutorial to this, but uh, there probably is one out there. If you want some profit inside the background, you could build a spaghetti hotline, which can give you a lot and a lot of money over time. There is probably methods to grind this, and I do have a tutorial on how to get it inside the description. From all the money making things that I've shown you so far in this video, you should have enough to get some of these like clothing items, such as the cool disguise. You can also get one of my favorite disguises, the fancy disguise, and the gold wristwatch. You will need a bank account though, and you can get that inside this chapter 2 storyline. You can also buy an apartment. Most importantly, you can work on the storyline for our Corp, which is next. I will try to make a tutorial that, on that in the future. Basically, you kind of need just money in order to like have a lot of adventure. And there you go! You're not really stuck in the campsite anymore, you can actually explore everything. So that's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed. Now that you can finally start up your world and like explore a lot and have fun with the game, I really hope that you're able to do that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.